Hey, what's up guys? I know it's a mess down here. Hopefully I don't drop my phone. These are all fake plants. These are bloodworms. Uh, baggies, because we got some new stuff. So over here in this eel tank, we got... There's one of the fish right there. I was at the store today. I'm from Pennsylvania. And the guy had some crayfish. And I never had crayfish. So I was like, hey, you know how much are those? What kind are they? And he's like, oh, I can't tell you much about them. And I'm not allowed to sell them either. I was like, oh. He's like, but if you want, you can have them. So here's one right here. Right there in the corner. There's another one somewhere. I can't find them. But I put them in the sump. I put two. I got four just to see what was going to happen. I put two in the sump and two in the tank. Uh, let me see if this other one's still over here. No. I don't know how that fish got in here. I never put him in here. He must have. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how the hell he got in here. Oh, there's a little hole up at the sump. He probably got in through there. Okay, so. Oh, there he is. Oh, nope. He already got eaten. He's out the mouth of the eel. So I'll show you him. You can probably see him down the tube. Barely, you can barely see him. Anyway, so I got those crayfish. He ended up attack. Well, first I put this eel in. I bought a new spiny eel. You see him in there? He's tiny. He's only like, you know three inches so I bought him I was I asked the people for the biggest one I knew it was gonna be an issue he doesn't have many tank mates so I put him in and I watched as I was um, you know putting the uh, crayfish in I almost said shrimp so I watched as I was putting the crayfish in I watched him and he started like you know he sniffed him at first for a little bit and then he started to go at them, so I hurried up and put him in a net, and then I put him in this breeder box for now. I might put him to live in the sump for a little while, because I do want to get all a tank with just, like, mainly eels. So I think I'm just going to have to start him small, get no big ones. I just put some blood worms in for him. Hopefully he eats them. Put some in the tank. Put some in the sump. So I'm gonna put some of these also in the cichlid tank. And so also I was at the store and then they were throwing away, they told me they were like throwing away moss in this other plant. I have no clue. I don't think they really knew much about it either. So they said they were, oh, here he is. Chasing him around. So he's mean with everything that comes in. He's like hunting right now. Like he's not gonna stop until he finds them. And he's not even that big. I mean, honestly, he's like freaking out. He usually loves blood worms. He don't even care for them right now. But so I'm gonna hurry up on this video. I just wanted to show you guys this. Um, I don't see that crayfish, he just like disappeared. Anyways, so, so they were giving away, well they weren't really giving away, but I was like, oh, uh, I was like, you guys got a lot of this, so oh, yeah, we've been throwing it away, so that's why I got these fake plants here, that this is the new shrimp tank I set up. And every, all the plants you see in there are real now. So I had a huge clump of this, a huge clump of that. I put like three small ones together on that. What is this? Oh, a dead one. And then there were snails with it too. And then I got moss right up on the, on that holder up there I built. 
And then I got my red root floaters already there and some other stuff. And it came with some snails. You see a snail right there on the rock. I put some moss right here in this mask. Hopefully it like, you know, grows with the mass. I mean, mask, sorry. Uh, yeah, so hopefully, you know, the sh new shrimp that I'm getting, this is gonna be a cherry shrimp tank. So I'm hoping, you know, for some good results with that. Let me set you down. And then I also probably wanna put this in. So that would be pretty cool to throw in the shrimp tank. And yeah, so now I'm gonna set you up. And I'm gonna feed these cichlids. So really I'll just actually put a little more food in. Their tank needs cleaned. Oh, I also bought a new light for this tank because the light is broken. It doesn't work at all. So I really like to try to feed these big ones because they're like, they don't come out all the time to eat the food. They'll wait till the food is like almost gone to come out. So I'll put some where they all are. And I'll wait for them to do that. And then I try and feed them like this when he's gonna come out. So I'll throw some in the corner. See, there he is. So. I'm also gonna change the filter out. You can see it right here now. I'm gonna change this out because it's dirty. So all I do is just pull it off, get the water out. I grab a new one. So I just threw that in, and then now I'm gonna fill up filter flows. So that's that. I know that sh this is pretty dirty. I'm actually going to post these for sale and divide it in half and make it a shrimp tank. Probably do like blue dreams on one side and blue carbon really on the other side. I'm really hoping for that. Uh, yeah, and that's, uh, or blue carbon, I'm sorry. Uh, that's about it really for a little update. I do have a couple other videos that I'm still editing this. I'm just going to throw on like this, probably maybe edit out a little bit. So, thanks guys. Dream, Dream Aquatics. Thanks for watching. Alright guys, look at this. So there's the crayfish right here. And there's the eel right here. And he can't seem to smell him or notice him there at all. And that's where they hit in the first place. But since the other eel was there, oh, I think he sees him. But uh, since the other eel was over here, that's why he started coming over. That's alright. I don't really care if he eats the crayfish or not. I honestly didn't want him to eat the crayfish. That's why I put two in the sump and two not in the sump to see, you know, what would happen. Uh, I'm going to clean this mess tomorrow. It's really just bags and plants. You know what, I'll throw it in this bag real quick, but... That includes today, which is just another day, I guess. But so I pulled this, I actually bought a light, I pulled the old light out. I don't know what was wrong with it, but it's broken. The canopy built was like not really built good. It flexes, look. 
I could get stuck right there in the top flexes but you know what can I expect he didn't you know he's not oh you know what I need to put this lid on all right I'm gonna cut off now see you guys